Our next railway, the Welsh Highland, would certainly like that. But we are back in North Wales, and the Welsh Highland starts at Port Maddock. Curiously enough, right across the road from the main British Rail station on the North Wales coast sector. And the sign bravery proclaims, Welsh Highland Railway, Port Maddock Terminus. Port Maddock was once a busy slate port, but it's now become a sort of railway lover's mecca. The British Rail is here, and across the great embankment comes the little train of the famous Festiniog line. Now, will the Welsh Highland Railway join them? Will another gallant little engine puff its way alongside the Glaslyn estuary into the very heart of Snowdonia? The enthusiasts who got together in 1961 to restart the Welsh Highland were certain about it. But they had a long road to hoe or rail track to lay. When you set out to revive a line, there's enough legal complications to keep lawyers busy for years. The new Welsh Highlanders had to deal first with the official receiver, into whose hand the old company had fallen, then county councils and way leaves, and all the time they were getting their engines and their rolling stock together. And company chairman David Hearn was right in the middle of his working party of volunteers. Well, today we're just on general stock movements. We've moved the carriage, the Exile of Van Carrad carriage for the first time. It's just been pushed down the siding. We're now just moving this German steam engine. This is also the first time this engine has moved. It's going down to its new engine shed at Port Maddox. And we're also today receiving ballast, which has been put at the other end of the line there. This will be spread along the track for finishing the track in due course. We're actually working on only about three quarters of a mile of our track at the moment. This will run from Port Maddox up to Penamount, where we're just behind us. All being well, this should be available for some form of passenger service by 1976. What we have to do in the meantime, of course, is to bring the track and the trains up to standard, get our carriages finished and painted, everything, in fact, ready to run the railway. And what marvellous country lay ahead. Mouth-watering stuff for any small-gauge enthusiast. The Glaslyn River flows down from the heart of Snowdonia under this bridge. It needed a bit of attention, but work would be a pleasure against this background. The Glaslyn at high tide forms a still lake, for that great dike we saw back at Port Maddock now regulates the water. It's hard to believe that Back at the beginning of the 19th century, they had a shipbuilding industry up at the mouth of the pass of Aberglaslyn. Now the tidal waters, once a day, mirror the foothills and lower cliffs of Moyle Hebog, the Hill of the Hawk. At Aberglaslyn, the line enters the pass, and the old tunnels are still there. And down below, the glasslin, no longer tamed and placid, thunders down amongst the rocks. Oh, 
what a view the old travellers had as their train emerged from the Aberglaston Tunnel, carved in the precipice that plunges down to the river. And ahead of them, the village of Beth Gellert. And in the old days, this was an important station on the Welsh Highland Railway. This is where the new company planned to make their terminus, after the giant task of restoring the line all the way up from Port Maddock. We've seen the work already done. Was Beth Gellert to see once again the old glorious steam? In 1976 came the body blow. It was impossible to complete negotiations for the Port maddock Beth Gellert stretch. Would the Welsh Highland die again? Ah, but courage. They've got a good chance of running rights from Weinvar to Reed D, right under Snowdon itself. The Welsh Highlanders are back in business, they hope. And here's where their new line will run. Good luck to them.